Hi guys, hope you're well. I literally forgot the most important element of the video. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, so today I was at work and on my break I was looking on Instagram and I saw that Future, the rapper, was assigned the role of creative director for the Lanvin Lab collection. A good account to follow is Tal.com and basically they just tell you everything that's happening in fashion in like, honestly like live and you know it's so simple, the feed is just blue and it's so easy to follow and it's not like big paragraphs so it just catches you your attention and you read it all so to be honest I saw the news a couple days ago but for some reason it my, for some reason my Instagram feed is just chaotic so it re-showed me something that I already saw I'm pretty sure you know what to be honest it's a bit more difficult when Everything is blue and you just have to rely on the text. Oh, yeah, found it. It was six days ago. So it was a week ago. Okay, it says future will be the creative director For just one collection Lova lab is a new project of the French house under which they will invite various creative to create capsules capsule collection as a result of the dialogue between fashion arts music and cinema and You know, I'm really happy because I'm really happy that this is happening because I do like the concept of putting art and music and fashion in one like one big thing and just creating like just creating something out of the two worlds and i would also like that there's also cuisine because i don't know cuisine is all about taste and cinema is all about uh music is all about um listening and fashion is about touch but you can also smell something and I just wish something was like really collab and it just meshed in all one so it pro I don't know like there could be a fashion show based on smell and not only you see the clothes but what the clothes represent through sm like what is the visual or like touch tactile representation of a smell you know what I mean um, and play on that and then also like make the clothes smell also or even taste and I and I will say like music wise, there has been a really this popular, th especially this year with Dua Lipa and her collab with Versace, Pharrell, who is now the creative director of Louis Vuitton. Um, now apparently features going to be um, creative director for this season of Lamb and Lab. So there's a there's really much of this presence of music artists in fashion, but where one like to make a bigger jump is more so about because I feel like it's very it's very much so like oh they're doing fashion shows it's like I want to say like very surface even though that the shows that we've seen so far I personally really like them I really enjoy them but I feel like uh, for example Dua Lipa with her, her recent album and like making I don't know like just make a, a a fashion version of the music album like what would be the fashion translation of the music album you know, because usually what happens is you have your music out and then you put a music video, but what would be the fashion collection of your music? That would be, I don't know, like just challenge more the fashion industry. And I want to say the same thing with cinema in the sense of, and for example, the new Barbie movie that's coming up and Gap is doing a collab with Barbie. But I feel like if the Barbie is so, like, there's so much marketing around the Barbie movie right now, and I was seeing something on LinkedIn, and basically, it's just like, there's so much marketing, it would have been even more fun if there was a, an actual fashion collection, like a high, high fashion collection with Barbie, like, Barbie core. Obviously, uh, Moschino did um, a collection very Barbie core, but like, you know, like, just push it even more, and something, it would be really fun. Or maybe they've already done something like that, and... They haven't announced it yet, but I don't know. But I'm really interested in that. Obviously, we don't really know much about uh, Future's like collab with uh, with Lava Lab, and I really like this concept. I don't know what kind of artists they will bring, and I'm scared that they're just going to bring. Obviously, there's going to be that. Is that artist visual? Like, does that artist bring a lot of attention, and are they? In my personal view, far was a really smart move for the Louis Vuitton um, collection. Uh, just, I mean, just for Louis Vuitton um, as a, a general uh, brand. But 
and Jordi Pa was, you know, it was interesting, it was cute, it was fun. I don't want to say like, oh, only like the famous artists or only this type of artists, because I, I do feel like sometimes some artists could actually challenge themselves more through a fashion collection. But I don't know, like, I, I'm scared that it's just going to be like, oh, this is what I like, and then, like, I want a proper, like, a, a, how, how do I can't say this, like a really well worked, you know, in collection bien travaillé, like it's actually well thought, well uh, designed, and I'm pretty sure that um, there's going to be a whole team behind Future and Lava Lab when it comes to that project. And because it's like a for a new project, I don't say like it has to be really really perfect, but it can't flop. In my eyes, it cannot flop um, because I don't know. Just this concept is really nice. I don't want to talk too much about it, but what do you guys think about it? I was also thinking, I was also thinking of including Kim Kardashian in that conversation and her collab with Dolce & Gabbana, but I'm not saying that she doesn't deserve the attention because well, well, she's not a singer first of all. So that's <laughs> that's already like a <laughs> but yeah, just this um there's really this craze of bringing other people from other industries into the fashion industry. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I What do you guys think? I'm really interested. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I I really just hope that they really push it through. Um, but yeah, music-wise or like just... I mean, art in general, I, the first thing that comes into my mind is Kid Super. He did a collection where it was uh, Vente aux Enchères. I forgot what the, what the name is. But people were bidding on like stuff as there was also a fashion show so like the model was wearing uh like a like a outfit but there was also the the painting version that was being sold live so that was really interesting um but yeah these kind of, kind of stuff are not necessarily new but i really do think that we have to push because i did like there was a video that i posted two months ago i'm pretty sure that it was um, has the fashion industry hit a plateau, and I really do think that there's it's really the best time really to push and push the boundaries, really go crazy, really with fashion. I, I'm not saying that we're playing too safe, but I, I don't know. Like I really all this like quite luxury and uh, like not mostly like soul fashion. It's nice, and to be honest, I kind of fit that aesthetic of minimalism or not not too crazy stuff not like logo and, and maximalist but i still like to see it I, I still like i still appreciate this other side of fashion that's really all out all expressive and yeah so we'll see about we'll see in september uh what future and Lava lab has to offer us and hopefully in late 2023 2024 it would um, we get to see more of that i'm really excited to be honest i would i if i was given the opportunity to do a a, a mini coll collection I, I think i would do it but i don't know where it really depends on where my mind's at now at that moment when i'm being asked and how i could translate not not necessarily my my like what i wear but also like how i'm feeling what's what are my inspiration, you know? So, yeah. But I'm really excited. So, yeah, that was a really tiny little video, but I, I like to do those type of videos, just like on the spot, on the go. Like, let me just see what I have in mind, and yeah. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!